hi guys this is Dera Okoala that's my Instagram handle don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram so in this video I'll be teaching you how to tie a round stepped gilly with short gilly so um, so uh, we'll start with a 70 30 ratio we're going to use a 70 30 ratio as you can see and we're just going to do the steps so i was not able to show the full steps in this video because i was videoing it and then my phone stopped videoing due to lack of storage but then you can watch my video on how to make gilly base pleats that's the steps so we're just going to twist it when you are twisting it the longer part should be down while the shorter part will be at the top you know, when you are turning it at the back so now we're going to pleat the you know, we're going to do the pleats that make up the gilly part you know? but before then we're going to adjust these pleats you can do as many base pleats as you want depends on you so we're going to adjust the pleats now we'll do the step pleats those, are, those ones are the base pleats this one now is the step pleats that make up the gilly that gives the gilly its main beauty so i'm just going to pleat it one after the other each on top of the other so I'm going to pleat it from that end first. If you notice the other flap of the gilly, I'm holding it firmly under my armpit because if it comes up, I'm going to start all over again. So just watch the way I'm pleating. It's easy to learn. The only thing you need is practice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So yes, so look at the way I'm pleating it. You know, you can see. I'm pleating it to the middle first, to the center of my head first. You know. So I'm doing it. So yeah, whenever you're doing this pleat, you have to be very patient. You have to be very careful. Okay, like you don't need to rush too much. If you really are going to rush, just don't even you know try to do this style except you have mastered it very well. So just do the pleats that way you keep pinching it until you're satisfied to an extent can you see so you keep pinching it till you're satisfied can you see at this point it was already hard for the pleats to stay comfortably on top of themselves on top of each other so I'm just going to smoothen out the pleats, you know, and always use your hands to make sure it's on top of each other. Just try and straighten it out with your fingers. Try and make sure it's always on top of each other because that's where the beauty is. And it's on top of each other. That's the beauty of the gilly. Can you see it's difficult for those last two pleats to stay on top of each other? But now I'm going to show you how to secure them so that they won't move away from no, they won't move out of line. Can you see? So just keep watching. Please, if you like this video, share it with your friends, share it with your loved ones, so that all of you can slay together to that Owambe party. I'm sorry my voice sounds kind of low I just woke up and realized oh my god it's Friday and I've not released any video for this beautiful week so I had to do that so now I'm going to use a pin to hold it down I'm going to use a pin to hold that part down so that it will stay so you make sure they're on top of each other once again before pinning Pin it down. You be careful not to enjoy yourself. Be very gentle. Okay. Yes, that's it. 
So now we are going to now straighten the pleats from the center of my head down. In the same manner I did the pleats on the other side, that's the same manner I'm going to straighten the pleats to the other side of my head. And when I do that, I'll pin it down as well. So if I have six pleats uh, initially, when I'm ending, I'm supposed to have that same six pleats on the other side of my head. That's my point. I always make sure they are on top of each other, they are on top of one another. Can you see the pleats? It's already looking beautiful. Can you see the pleats are already looking many, plenty pleats. Can you see? So yes, that's it. I'm going to pin that down. Pin it down. Very well. Try not to enjoy yourself while pinning. Now I'm going to tie it at the back. Just tie it normally at the back, but you be careful so you don't you know, spoil things. Gilly is all about being gentle. Now I've tied it at the back, and just watch what I'm doing. You're just going to fold it little by little. You fold it. This style is very appropriate for gilly that is not long enough. You know, if it's, if the gilly is long enough, the same way we pleated the initial pleats of this upper part before time is just how you do it throughout well because the gilly is not long enough this is how we are going to pleat it this is how we are going to fold it you get so you fold it this way it's not easy oh. my hand was aching me at this moment but then i'm already used to it so <clears throat> So once you do that in the center, you do this by the side, you know, by the side, try and follow what you have done in the center and do it by the other side too, to make sure it's okay, you can see that's it. So I'm still going to have to straighten it out, so I'm already so happy because it's turning out well, it looks fine, but then, you know, I'm already so happy that, <laughs> see me Shakara. But then you can see I still need to straighten it out. So I'm still going to have to straighten it out. You can see. Uh -uh. Gilly mix brings out the beauty of your face. No be small. So you just have to keep adjusting it and 